Welcome back to the channel. Today we have Marjorie. I love that name. So naturally we're recording so an ambulance has to go by every time. Now you got you got your car, you picked up your car last yesterday. Yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon and I happened to run into her at Home Depot while uh, she parked. I basically parked and I said nice car. Welcome exactly. you welcome yeah. you to the family. So as always, welcoming uh, everybody to the Tesla family is always awesome. But it got me curious. Uh, how did you get to the point where you bought a Model 3? I rented a house in Arizona last year and I rented a hybrid. And I had different girl girlfriends come down for a six week period. And we did a lot of traveling to Sedona and Tucson. And every time the little blue lights got on, I got excited thinking, I'm not paying for any gas. And that got my mind thinking. So originally, I thought I was going to buy a hybrid. Nice. And I did look at a lot of hybrids. And then the government came out with two kickbacks or rebates. Yeah, incentives, yeah. And they were not for cars that were plug-in. So I crossed all those cars out of my list and only went to... Um, EVs, right? EVs, yes. Yeah. <laughs> EVs. So I only went to EVs and then um, I had a couple of friends that had a Tesla and a neighbor that has one and I just sort of went from there. I did some door knocking, knocked on their door and said, what do you think? And fell in love with it when I went for, I actually went to test drive it twice before I bought it. I had to think twice. about it. Twice, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, so that was the story. It is, it is actually always amazing to me on people's stories and, and what they, uh, you know, how they got to, to do all this and how they got into the Tesla. And to me, I find this to be probably the best part of, you know, the beginning stages of being a Tesla owner. The biggest question is, what were you driving before this car? I still have it. I have an A4 Audi convertible. A4 Audi convertible. That's a nice car. It's a nice car. I, I like it, but I'm sick of a two-door. You don't want a two-door anymore? I don't want to crawl in the back seat and try to vacuum it. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's that. So there's that. that's one of the reasons. And I don't want to pay premium gas bills. She doesn't want to pay premium gas. We know how that feels because obviously I have the BMW before this one. Paying premium is up to my neck in it. Yeah. And so today was your first day right here at the supercharger. First day. And first uh, fill. Obviously when we met, you stated uh, she had she had questions. I asked her, do you have any questions? She goes, oh boy, I don't want to hold you up here. Remember, we were at Home Depot, so I have lots of stuff. So I said, you know what? Come down to the supercharger today and we'll walk through a few things. I wanted to, one of, what was one of the things I told you? Using a Tesla is easier than using a smartphone, right? That's right. Am yeah. I right? So far. So far. Now that I know I'm not doing it wrong. And there's a gas car trying to peel out, but they can't do it because their car is weak. So <laughs> now with now that you have the car and you've had it for just basically one night, realistically, yeah. so far today driving around, you mentioned earlier you were playing with... Uh, Wow, you're definitely playing with the whoopee cushion. I know that. I know, I was. <laughs> My grandkids will love that. And the games, again, you said the, your grandkids will love it. Oh, they'll love it. They'll, they'll love, love it. it. What's so far in the last 12, 14 hours, well, 24 hours that you have the car, How? what is your favorite part of the car? Mm, uh, I don't know. I just love, I love it. I don't know what it's the amazing part isn't it guys you ask most people about what's their favorite part about the car and almost never ever do I actually get a straight answer because it's so general everything everything yeah. comes together and people love everything about it yeah and so I I actually asked this to a few people and I said so if you had to pick one thing that you like you know what the typical answer is I don't have one thing no, I don't have Is that one fair? thing. Yeah, that's fair. that's fair. I don't have one thing right now, that's for sure. So, like now with regards to the delivery experience, mm -hmm. I know, I know, I can see the comments coming on this. So with regards to your delivery experience, what do you think Tesla could do to improve their delivery experience? Oh my gosh, everybody's making noise around here. Um, I think they need to have stations. When you go into the office at 1712 Powell, 
you don't know what's just what's going on. There's absolutely nothing. One doesn't say check in, one doesn't say insurance. It's pretty easy to do that, those two little things. Just print out a sign and put check in here, line up here, check in. Because people are just going around. Yeah. They don't know the other side people are insurance people. Because right. there's nothing that directs you. So that would be a really simple start. I think that they need to keep their deliveries down to maybe 50 a day. <laughs> Did you hear that, yeah. Tesla? Keep your deliveries down to 50 a day. Well, they told me Please they're, don't only, do that. they're only doing cars on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They don't For now, Friday. that's true. Uh, only Tuesday. No, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Only four days a week. Now, one of the one of the biggest things, and uh, we talked about this earlier, is obviously you see, the problem is we are out here and I, I have to go through some of the stuff with her. And this is fine because that's what a Tesla community is all about. Mm -hmm. The whole Tesla family is all about. You come out here, we teach you some stuff, we answer some questions. But the reason we do this is because, well, Tesla didn't do it, right? You, right. You're, you're basically, they show you how to get in your car just so you can leave the lot. Mm -hmm. And obviously this makes sense. I mean, it's it's there's a lot of cars. Like you mm -hmm. said, it was hectic down there yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, is this something you'd like to see in the future where Tesla is going to say, okay, you know what, maybe they can spend a little bit more time with you or maybe have a cheat sheet, right? A cheat sheet that they give you. A cheat right? sheet they can give you. And then, yeah. and I've mentioned this a few times before, a cheat sheet is almost a, a necessity when it comes to, I mean, I think a lot of the younger generation, I, they, they kind of figure it out really quick. Yeah, yeah. Whereas a lot of the older generation, they had a hard time figuring out, a, you know, a, a lot of these little things because there's so much coming at them at the same time. Am I correct on this? Absolutely. Like, well, why couldn't I find superchargers? Well, yeah, you couldn't find them either. So right. obviously it's not, it wasn't me, it was just they're not there yet. Right. There's, there's little things that, you know, you need to be able to tell the customer, okay, look, here's the top thing, things on how you should do this. And mm -hmm. I don't think it's it's uh, the right way to do it is to put everything in the manual because there is a manual in the car. Yes. I'm actually going to show you that later yeah. on. But going through I, the I go to YouTube. I'm a YouTube girl. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and a new subscriber, I'm hoping. Yes. All right. So uh, I think a nice little simple, I guess, laminated cheat sheet saying, you know, the very basics that you need to know. Let's say the top 20 things that yeah. people should know. Am I? Yeah, absolutely. Right. I did that when I worked at my job. Did cheat sheet. So. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's a really, really good idea. Yeah, we really wish Tesla would do that. I think it would help them. It would help them through the delivery process itself because then they don't have to spend, you know, an hour with somebody, but they can spend rather what they're doing now in essentially, you know, that quick little bang bang but mm -hmm. the cheat sheet allows you to kind of look through stuff mm -hmm. and one of the things I looked at one of the things I keep going through is uh, let's say when you walked in you had to wait you did there was those dead moments where yeah. you were doing nothing right yeah. so and not when, knowing what desk was for what or there's, right. there's no organization so one of the things I was always saying is that it would be nice when the customer comes in and there's you know there's gonna be that waiting period give them right off the bat a cheat sheet give them something that they can read through and and while they're waiting they're they're getting more excited because here's the cheat sheet and they're going oh really i can do this and this is the best way to do it yeah. would you have liked that oh i love it See? or even a film that's going over and over saying the same thing yeah. absolutely so they have monitors going all over the place yeah. right and let's put those monitors to good use and, and tell these new customers coming in saying you know showing them how to use your model 3 or model s mm -hmm. or model x and and I think by people just sitting there and, and instead of being bored because that's essentially what's happening, yeah. you know, let them watch something on TV that's actually useful, not how yeah. beautiful the car is because they already bought it. They know how beautiful yeah. it is. Yeah. So putting up their information that's very useful while you're waiting to pick up your car. That's, that's a great idea. See, yeah. she said it's a great idea. I think <laughs> it's a great idea. My wife who's recording is smiling at me, which means it's a great idea. So with that said, I'm gonna have to say an absolute massive, massive thank you to Marjorie for doing this interview. You're welcome. Thank and, you. Thanks for the question. And uh, like always, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Till next time, drive safe. Bye.